हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्टिंग अ प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ मैन फ्रेम वेर आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड द वीडियोज ऑफ मैन फ्रेम रिलेटेड लाइक द मैन फ्रेम प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज कॉबॉल पी एल एवन एंड ऑल्सो जे सी एल सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू लर्न दो प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज स्टे कनेक्टेड विद दिस चैनल ओके सो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट द मैन फ्रेम देर एडवांटेज डिस एडवांटेज वाट इज द मैन फ्रेम how it is the different from another pc history of main frame why we use main frame another fact about the main frame and also we will discuss about the career growth what is our career growth and what will be our role in main frame if we if we learn the main frame system so let's start first we are going to see about what is main frame so main frame is a high performance computer that the large amount of the memory and the processor that calculate the millions of calculations and transaction in real time in today's life a main frame computer play a central role in daily life operations including many companies or sectors that could be finance health care insurance government public and private enterprises as well that are uses that use the main frame system so we will discuss later in this video why we use main frame so first with an example let's understand what is the main frame computer and the personal computers with an example we will understand easily that personal pc and main frame so let's uh, give an example like uh, if you want to build a personal pc so what we need we will need a monitor a cpu a keyboard a mouse and other things like printer speaker mic or speaker it would be it would be a uh, optional okay in the cpu it could be a storage device or hard drive that will store our data so it is a pc if and if you want to share these resources to another pc what we need we need topologies like lan or any other um, with that we can share the resources as well as we can interact with another pc it is the our personal pc so let's understand with an example of main frame system this is the main frame system like in center you can see in the graph here is the main frame and here you are seeing the many terminals are connected in the main frame terminal is nothing that is a end user an end user can connect with main frame system using the specific port number and the ip address if a user have a valid port number and ip address and user is available in anywhere in the world he will be able to connect in the main frame system in connect with main frame system means he will be able to do some operations what he want to do in main frame system main frame system he will be able to do this is the main frame and uh, previously i i have discussed about the personal pc now you now you will be able to understand what are the different between the personal pc and the main frame and why we use main frame we will discuss first we see the main frame evaluation in the main frame evaluation uh, in 1960 when system 360 was evaluated that time the main frame evaluation started after that there are many uh, operating system in uh, main frame developed developed like 970 975 980 and and the, the 990 there are developed system that are the system 390 or you can say that is a z series i haven't mentioned all those the uh, mid mid decade uh, systems uh, for high level i have mentioned only the oldest one and the latest one we are using zos operating system in mainframe this is the mainframe evaluation and now we see the mainframe function evaluation also with the system evaluation also the mainframe function evaluated that the virtual storage it is the technique that lets a processor simulate large amount of main storage from a smaller installed real storage and uh, in simple language if you want to say like uh, it is used to extend the storage capacity and allows multiple users to uh, share resources or storage space 
you can say and another one that is a multi programming now with the name you will be able to understand about the multi programming like more than one program executing at the same time that is a multi programming and the spooling it is the most important things which was developed in the mainframe function evaluation uh, it facilitates effective sharing of input output device and better system throughout uh, let's understand with an graphic example like uh, here is the input device input device you can say like a uh, terminal one or terminal two like two user are interacting with the mainframe system and want to print something let's assume an example if a terminal one and terminal two two user want to print something and give instruction at the same time and here is a only one output device like a printer and the spooling is used to prevent the override those interaction that is the spooling and the another one that is a batch processing batch processing means when you scheduled a job for a specific time or date a job job is nothing in mainframe job is a program like with an real example we can say like uh, our emi is generated every month so it would be a batch processing system there is no interaction with a uh, in the user in a real time that is a batch processing and every month and every specific date it generated automatically using the batch processing the another one that is a time sharing time sharing means uh, each user has access to the system it makes more interactive like uh, one user or another user and more than 100 user are able to use same system as the same time and do the operations what they want to do that is a time sharing and uh, so let's uh, discuss about the mainframe so mainframe can handle billions worth of transaction it is the main advantage that many companies or the many banking sector or insurance that are widely used in mainframe these days as well as like 1962 2022 and to run business many companies are also using mainframe as i said and approximately 1 billion high customer transactions occur every second in mainframe so now let's see the career in mainframe like uh, what will be career role and also as well as the career growth in mainframe so let's do google and see what are we are getting result so here i did the google does career growth in mainframe and here you will able to see a lot of negative as well as positive result you can see here as well as now also i am working in mainframe so when i have assigned mainframe also i did a lot of research on this domain it is a fine for future growth or not and i came out with an uh, result like yeah it is safe for future if you want to put some time and also effort in this technology and also i would like to say these days mainframe are being a uh, widely used to modernization of the technology uh, in this website you will be able to see all those details like about the modernizations like cobol mainframe and the programming language and the more powerful effective and you should visit this website for future growth so this is the end of the video so let's meet in another video where i'm going to upload the tutorial like how we set up all the uh, mainframe systems like uh, application installation and all those process i will explain so stay connected with this channel for more further updates thank you